is almost identical in size to the Mach X, although it sits lower in the voxel range. Expect the next generation Mocha to be accordingly larger. The design of the Crossland is rather safe, with Vauxhall opting not to push any boundaries or give any impression of sportiness. A big contrast to the likes of Renault's stylish, design-focused capture. All models get alloy wheels, starting with 16-inch rims on the entry-level SE, SE NAF and Techline NAF models, and 17s on the Elite and Elite NAF models. Move up from SE and you'll get a contrasting black roof as standard, while the fleet-focused Techline NAF and two Elite models get rear parking sensors and a chrome effect trim around the windows for a bit of extra bling. Metallic paint is a cost option across the range. Vauxhall isn't trying to pitch the Crossland X as a sporty offering. Unlike its stable mate, the Mucko X, and it benefits from a relatively compliant ride that shouldn't give you too many problems over poor road surfaces or bumps, even with the larger alloy wheels. But it's not soft enough to give soggy handling, which is good news. The steering is on the light side, but the handling is assured enough for everyday motoring, as long as you don't embark on any particularly spirited driving, if you do, you'll find too much body roll through corners. The net result is a stable, dependable car that's also easy to maneuver in town. Don't expect enjoyment or involvement in the way it drives, but it's perfectly capable. We've tried two of the engines so far. The 1.6 diesel, with 118 bhp, is disappointing, noisy and lacking the grunt to make decent progress. It always feels underpowered and like it's working hard. The 1.2 litre turbocharged petrol engine is better. Although it has less power at 108 bhp, it feels punchier with a wider band of power, and is likely to prove the popular option for retail customers. Also available are an 80 bhp diesel and a more powerful petrol engine, with 128 bhp. The cars we tried were fitted with a 5-speed manual gearbox, 6-speed in a diesel, which has a surprisingly long action when shifting, but is accurate and solid enough. A 6-speed automatic option is also available. All Crosslands come only with front-wheel drive, as there's no four-wheel drive model, 